to the Holy One. Give thanks. Good evening. Because he's given. Today Jesus is Christ, Tuesday. Today is November the 16th, 2021. <clears throat> it is 6 o'clock p.m. It is a Transformation Tuesday. I don't own the rights to this music. This is C.C. Winans and the Nashville music team. Give thanks. We're so grateful for another opportunity to just be able to have our life, our health, our strength. Good evening, Aunt Verna. It is so good to see your name across the screen. Thank you all for tuning in today, this evening. Uh, for some, it's been a long, challenging day, but God is good. And we come with a grateful heart to the Holy One just to say, God, I thank you. I praise you in spite of whatever is going on. You are worthy to be praised. So thank you all for uh, tuning in this evening. And for those that tuned in with me this morning, I thank you. So today, this evening, my prayer is always something can be said during this time to encourage you, to uplift you, to know that we can continue to go on and take our power back because God has already equipped us. For the assignment. Good evening, Sister Randolph. It's good to see you. Thank you for tuning in. Sister Mary Carter, just so good to see you. Good evening. Please show my love to Mother Flowers. Love and miss her. Um, today, I just want to share uh, a word and I also want to reflect on our testimonies, what God has already done, what he's doing and what he is going to do. Because there are moments that we are able to say or recognize the enemy and what he's doing, what he's trying to do. But how many know that we have to put even more emphasis and more of the focus on what God is doing and who God is. So we are not distracted by the enemy and what he is trying to do to deter us from the goodness of Jesus. And so even today, even in this moment, that is what I want to reflect on is just what God is doing, what he's already done, because guess what? We can boast in him and, you know, uh, boasting growing up, we were always told even now with the understanding is that you do not boast in yourself, uh, have an excessive pride of accomplishments, and success that that is not anything you would do you always remain humble and that is a true statement and i agree with that teaching but how many know that we're in a position that we can truly boast in the lord oh we can boast on him because uh he is worthy of all of the honor the glory and the praise so in the scripture today psalms 44 verse 8 psalm 44 and 8 says in God, we boast all day long and praise your name forever. We can truly praise him forever. We can truly love on him uh, and reflect on his goodness, his grace, his mercy, his faithfulness, because it's, it's all true and it's all good and he can bag it all up. And so we know alone we're not able to do that. And that's why we don't do anything in our name. But we thank God for his power. And even in Psalm 103, it says, bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits, who forgives all your iniquities, who heals all your diseases, who redeem, redeems your life from destruction, who crowns you with loving kindness and tender mercies who satisfies your mouth with good things so that your youth is renewed like the eagles. And so we thank God for the benefits because when we reflect on the benefits, we think of the perks, the assistance, the, the blessings, the advantages, the favor, the bonuses. We think of above and beyond. And we know that is what God offers us every day. 
every day we wake up in the morning, we're able to inhale and exhale. It's a blessing. And then on top of that, when God gives us strength and the ability to have the activity of our limbs, we thank God for that. And when we're able to move on our own, we have a, a shelter, a, we have a roof over our head, we have food to eat. And not just that our needs are met, but even having choices on what we want to eat, when we want to eat, and, and being able to have a selection of what we're going to put on and so forth. So we have to recognize God's goodness at all times, because if we're not careful, as I said this morning, we can allow the enemy to creep up and start having us focus on all the things that may not be the way we desire for them to be. And then we forget. We can't forget about all the benefits, all of the blessings, all of the goodness that he has shown toward us. So we want to focus on that as we bless the Lord. And how do we bless him? We praise him. We lift holy hands. We open our mouth and we say, God, I thank you. And not just with our lips, but when there is a praise in our hearts, when we just really realize that God has been so awesome and that when we really recognize and have the true understanding that if it was not for him, where would we be? If it wasn't for his goodness, for his grace, for his love or another opportunity, we wouldn't even be where we are today. So as we bless him, we praise him, we exalt him, we magnify his holy name. And so I want to ask you, what are we enlarging in our lives at this time? We know we look around. We know what the news is enlarging. We know what the media is enlarging, whether it's something else to do. The, the hottest concert, the next TikTok video, or it, it is continuing to highlight the pandemic and, and the COVID cases and, and what we need to do that causes either precaution or it causes panic in others. And so we know what's before us on a daily basis. But when we have to come to that point, that we start prioritizing what we will allow to come in. And, and my baby boy and I, we have our conversations on the way to school. And that is one of the things that uh, I share with him, that there are times he say, mama, you don't even turn on the TV. We don't even watch the news all the time <laughs> because you have to just be able to protect your mind and protect your thoughts and there is nothing wrong with turning on the news, getting the update report on what is happening in our world, what's happening in our community and around us and, and get the updates and, and know the information that we need to. But you have to know when the news is on repeat, 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 repeat on the hour and we keep hearing the same bad news over and over and over again, we have to be careful and mindful that when we begin to internalize this thing instead of hearing it. And if it's saying a word of prayer or asking God to have mercy and help us, Lord, to bring understanding to what is happening, if we're not careful, we'll go in a panic. We'll go into worry. We'll go into, oh, Lord, what's happening and, and, and how do I maneuver in this? And, and I'm afraid. And, and what if that happened? And that happened down the street. That was just in the next city over for me. So if that's happened over there, man, maybe we're next. And then before you know it, we have created a scenario of it happening to us or even worse than what was presented, all because it was on repeat and it got into our spirits and then we couldn't just shake it. And, and hear it and then keep moving forward. So yes, we are sensitive to the needs of others, but how many know that we cannot do anything in our power alone to change anything? If we are not dependent upon God, upon the power of prayer, when the word of God tells us to pray without ceasing and trust God and ask God and, and give our petition to him, then there is nothing we can do outside of God anyway. So we have to get to the point to where we take it to him, take it to the Lord in prayer. And so that was an old song uh, back in the day that our elders would sing. We got to take it to God in prayer. And as we go before him, before we begin our, 
our petition, our list of God, this is what I need your assistance and help with. We want to begin with the praise. We want to begin with thanksgiving. Why? Because God has already done enough. He has already blessed us. And when we can recognize and prioritize even the way we come to God, because we know we know that God is an awesome God. He is just God alone. And we thank him for his presence. But we don't want to go to God as if this is what you need to do and you need to move right now. But what we want to do is with a humble heart to come before God with a humble spirit and just say, Lord, I just appreciate you, God, for this moment. Knowing that many didn't see a, this day that wasn't promised to any of us. But because you blessed me to open my eyes this morning to experience a new day, first of all, I just want to say thank you. There are times in our lives that we just have to set aside the bad news and enlarge and magnify the God that we serve, that he is above all, that he is the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. And so we have to reverence him. We have to appreciate him. And so even in our in the natural, how we feel as parents, that when we're, we're giving our, our love, our patience and when we don't hear a thank you or, or experience the appreciation of our, our children, we get a little irritated and aggravated because we don't want them to feel like this is just something that you have to experience. But we want them to recognize and understand the blessing in it all. So when we come before our heavenly father, we want to always come with a praise on our lips and in our hearts to just recognize and acknowledge his goodness. And so don't let the news distract you. Don't let the bad news of everything that's happening, that it looks like, it feels like, it seems like it's, it's so much bad that we don't even recognize what is right, what is going well, the blessings and the favor of God and the grace and his mercy that we can experience brand new mercies every day. So we want to continue to magnify God because as we magnify him, as we share in the goodness of Jesus, even to others, we share our testimony and somebody else share their testimony. We are, are strengthening our brothers and our sisters and just being blessed by what God has done because it's a reminder that God has no respect of person that if he'll do it for you, Kimberly Banks, I know God will do it for me. If he'll do it for you, Aisha Mitchell, I know what God can do for me. And sometimes it's, that's all we need to really remind our faith that we got to activate and we got to let it kick in to remember there is nothing. When I say nothing, nothing that is too hard for our God that, yes, is impossible for man. Yes, alone, there is nothing that we can do to change our circumstances. But all oh, when we put it in his hands, when we take it to the Lord in prayer and when we just say, God, I, I appreciate you. And, and there are times that you may not even get to your list, your prayer, your prayer list, because you get caught up in your praise. But guess what? God honors your praise. And so the, the prayer list is already covered while you're in the midst of your hands and you're going into a worship. When, when you have to shout and dance sometimes, when tears begin to roll down your eyes, when when you begin to just moan and groan that you can't even articulate the words of just how good God is. When you start thinking back over your life, what could have happened, what should have happened, what would have happened if it wasn't for God stepping right in on time? Because I already know the testimonies that's on the line. And, and I, we went down to visit my middle son this weekend in Oklahoma. And, and I told him, you know, just reflecting on some things that's going well and, and some challenges that he may be facing. And, you know, we just like to share and have that dialogue. And I just share with my son. I said, you know what? I said, I, I will I always pray for you, you know, it, daily. We, we pray for our kids, continue to cover uh, them and, and our, even our extended family, our loved ones, our church family, our, our, the kids that we come in contact with students because we know who the enemy is, that he's always trying something, that he always got some type of attack that's coming our way. But I, I shared with him, I said, but you know what? I won't allow what the enemy is trying to, to throw up to, to overpower the blessing 
and, and what God has done. Because this same time last year, this same time, right before Thanksgiving, the week before Thanksgiving, our home was hit with COVID. And my middle son was hit the worst and that he was just not doing well. And there were a lot of things that he was facing. And I was like, Lord, it's not there is nothing I can do to change the situation that that I couldn't offer any type of aid to make him feel better. But that was something that he had to go through and just being in contact with the doctors to say, hey, keep an eye on it. Don't let this get out of control. Now, you know, we got to monitor some things because he may have to go in and to and to see how just coming in, even when we were all experiencing weakness, when we were all experiencing pain in our bodies as, as we uh, went through that stage of COVID, that God honored those prayers and that today, a year later, that we're able to see him do well and be healthy and that things are, are going well in his body and everything else that we all recovered, that there were some things that we didn't know, challenges that we were going to have to face but I tell you, Thanksgiving hit different last year when we really came through that. We didn't get caught up in the fact that, oh, we can't all be in the same room and we can't be with our loved ones in person. Zoom was all right because we had life. There was life. There was still breath in our bodies. And that was enough to say, God, I thank you for another chance because he did not have to let it be so. And so when we begin to put things in perspective that, yes, there are things that we're dealing with right now that don't feel good to us. But we just got to say, but God, I thank you that I still have breath in my body. God, I thank you that I'm still able to have the activities of my life, that I'm in my right mind when I thought I was going to lose it by the pressure and the challenges that were coming my way. But the fact that I'm able to look in the mirror because I can see, and then there is a smile on my face because you've given me joy unspeakable. And the fact that I'm still here lets me know that you've given me the strength when I was weak because your grace is sufficient, that is enough alone to say, Lord, I thank you. I bless your holy name. I magnify you over what the enemy is trying to do. I magnify you over any other uh, area in my life that may not be ideal for the moment because it doesn't feel good. Because at the end of the day, God has to remind us, even in our grieving, even in our pain, that we're not home yet, that we're passing through. But even we know it's a win win in our lives that when God gives us another day right here on earth, that we can trust him and know that he will give us joy. He will give us strength and peace when things are not going well. And we know when it's our time that we are still in a win-win because now we're with our savior and that is all well, it's all good. And so as we continue to reflect on what are we enlarging in our lives, I just wanna encourage you that don't give all the attention to the physical ailments and the discomfort in this physical body, I want to just encourage you to continue to remember that I don't have to lose heart because this body is temporary. And I thank God that I can focus on those things which are eternal. And so when we can encourage ourselves, because you know, sometimes we got to encourage ourselves in the Lord that as we reflect on those things that God will strengthen even in our testimonies. He'll strengthen you and he'll strengthen somebody else. I had a co-worker that I was sharing with uh, the last week about my Aunt Osi, my beautiful, beloved Aunt Osi. God blessed her to see 94 years. And my Aunt Osi was a supporter of Monday's message, Take Your Power Back. She'll be right here on the line, sharing the message, sharing the scriptures. Let me know that she loved me and I appreciate her life. And it was hard. It was a challenge getting the news that she was no longer with us and that her death was suddenly. But, you know, I thank God for her life. And I thank God that I know she's in a better place and that he gave us to experience who she was and her love for 94 years. And for that, we thank God for. We thank God for that. And so that was a hard moment. And then I look at my other auntie that's on the line right now, Aunt Verna, what the enemy tried to do to her 
uh, one evening and that it, it looked like it just got bad real fast. And it was like, what in the world is happening today? And so what I thank God for is even in that darkest hour, see that that's where your praise and the prayer, we, we know the affection fervor prayer of the righteous availeth much because her son, Timothy called me and he said, you know what? I had a moment. I had to go into my secret closet and he said I had to shut the world out and I had to go in prayer for my mama because I said, God, I believe that this is only a test because there will be a testimony. I'm trying to hold it together, y'all. I really am. I'm trying to hold it together because that blessed me because I knew even in his pain, even in his concern for his mother that the son knew that only God can change my mother's situation right now. And as she's not able to communicate with us right now, I know that there's the best thing we can do is to call on the name of the Lord on her behalf. And I'm here to let you know that my Aunt Barner is on YouTube live right now saying, how you doing, my niece? And so she is here because she is a testimony of God's goodness, how he turned it around, whatever the enemy was trying to do. God said, not today, that your assignment is not complete. So she is here right now. And so I thank God and I want to encourage those that are going through your hour right now of darkness, that that I've re received other news coming in of, of things that are not going well, of, of the enemy trying to come in and attack our, our, our young people and their bodies and, and in their health. But how many know that if we would call on the name of the Lord and continue to thank him in advance and say, God, I give it to you because I know it's already done because we know your track record is good and we can just bless you in advance for what you have already done doing and going to do. And not just for us, but for somebody else that we can praise God for our neighbor, that we can praise God and bless him for the student that's at the schoolhouse, for a teacher that's dealing with depression because we're trusting God that he can do like only he can to change their lives for the better. And so as I'm talking to, ministering to my colleague, she was sharing with me that the enemy attacked her son's body and they ended up in the hospital and how it was some really hard days that what looked like it was just a little something turned bad real fast to where it was like, we got a problem. We got to fix it now because it's hard for the baby to breathe. And she began to reflect on the goodness when she returned. And she said, God is so good. And that when I just sit here and think back on what it was this weekend, and that we didn't know what the outcome was going to be. But knowing that my baby is here and he's well and he still have his life that and she began to break. And she said, I, I think I better stop talking about. It. I said, yeah, you go ahead and keep on blessing God and telling your testimony because you just about to get something started up in here that we getting ready to just go into the worship and into praise because God is worthy. And so she encouraged me to remember that yes, when things are dark and it feels, you feel some kind of way sometimes when it seems like more bad news come in uh, more than you feel like you can handle or all at the same time that we're reminded of somebody else's testimony and then it, it ignites something in us to say, my God sure is a good God. He is amazing. That yes, I may be experiencing a moment, but God is worthy to be praised. So as we approach this Thanksgiving season, if you just look back over your life where you were last year this time, or even last week, or what you were dealing with, the challenges, if you can think about one area in your life that you didn't know you were going to be able to make it through or not, whether it was a doctor's report or, or something that you were dealing with in your relationship, in your home or with your kids, and you think about where you are right now or how God has turned and changed the situation around 
on your behalf. He shifted things just for you. I just want to encourage you to continue to give God glory, honor, and the praise. And you got to tell it because you got to help somebody else. And even if you say, well, I'm not there yet because I'm still in it, because it still don't look good. It still don't feel good. I'm still irritated. And I still don't have the joy that you talking about in this moment. I want to challenge you today to just forget about yourself. And once you have given it over to the Lord and surrendered all to him, don't pick it back up. Just begin to bless him, even in the midst of your tears. And if you say, God, here I am. And I feel like I'm at the verge of whatever is happening and that I'm not feeling too well physically. But I offer you what I have today. I offer you right now the praise of my lips in my heart. I give you thanks, God. I just want to bless you. And I tell you, in the midst of it, you will be strengthened. In the midst of it, you will feel God's peace overtake you. And then you will really realize that the joy of the Lord is your strength. That as you go through it, that he's giving you the power to go through it. That he's strengthening you to go through it. And you're helping somebody else along the way. Because you know they watch it. You know somebody is looking. You know someone is observing to see how this story is going to end. And, and, and how everything is going to turn out. And so we know the song that says you don't even know my story. And all the things that I've been through. That, that we've been through too much not to worship. We've been through too much not to lift hands to God and say, Lord, I thank you. I really appreciate you from with my whole heart that I know the story could have ended another way, but because of your benefits, because I can boast in the Lord today, we can boast in him. We, we can, we can just really exalt him and magnify him because he is worthy of it all. He really is that we know it's nothing in us that we can boast in, but oh, we can lift him up. Let's continue to lift Jesus in our lives. Let's continue to put him above any and every other thing, any other area in our lives. Because I promise you one thing that as you keep him first, that everything else, as you offer your day to him before you get busy, as you bow before a word of prayer with humble heart that God will begin to work on your behalf and he will lift you up in the midst of whatever the enemy is trying to do. So I just want to encourage you today that don't give up, don't lose hope, don't panic, continue to praise God. Don't panic. Don't stop right here. Tiffany Morales, I miss you so much. Don't stop right here. I don't care what it looks like. I don't care what the enemy think he's trying to do. It will not work. And it starts with our praise. It it starts with us acknowledging who God is, because as we acknowledge him and and there we're there in our prayer, as we're praying and we're praising God, that we love on him and we reverence him. And then here comes obedience that say, God, I surrender all to you that whatever you want to do, however you want to do it, God, I I surrender all for my my way for your way. God, I, I give my my agenda to you. And as we find ourselves obeying God through his word, then we experience, we continue to experience the blessings and the favor that he has for us. So I'm going to stop right here. I'm going to stop right here. And I just pray to God that something that was said uh, could be a blessing or help to you to encourage you today. And so the the message, the overall, we just want to give God thanks. We want to give him praise. We want to keep telling our testimony because it's helping somebody when they can truly understand that they're looking at one right now. They're looking at a miracle. You're witnessing a miracle and you are a miracle as well because we know if the enemy had his way, we wouldn't even be here. So God, we thank and praise you today. We honor you. We adore you. We lift your name on high, God. We give you the honor, the glory, and the praise, God. We thank you. We honor you, God. We bless you, God. We recognize the testimonies, God. We recognize your goodness. 
We recognize, God, with the grace and the mercy that we've helped experience your faithfulness, God. When we know we didn't even deserve it, your favor, we, we didn't deserve it, God, but we thank you for it. We thank you for the things that you've done, doing and going to do in our lives, for keeping us from danger, seen and unseen, God. We appreciate you. And God, we ask you right now for forgiveness for all the things we've said and done against your will, God. Help us to walk up right before you to do and be what you're calling for us to do and be, God. If it's anything in our lives that's not like you, if it's not pleasing to your sight, God, I ask you to bring it to our attention and help us, God, to line up with your word, God, that you're teaching us, even through our experiences, God, that you are strengthening us to, to be able to handle what is to come, God, because we put it in your hands. We're turning it over to you, God. We go to you in prayer, God, before we pick up the phone. We go to you before we're wondering what our friend has to say, what our mentor uh, opinion is, God. But we realize that when we make you our one and only, God, that we come to and reverence and we recognize your power, God, that everything else will fall in place, God. So I ask you to continue to bless each and every home that's represented, every person that is on the line right now from YouTube, God, to Facebook, every family right now that's experiencing hardship or they're, they're dealing with suffering or they're grieving, God, that they need your comfort. They need your strength. They need your help because of loss, because of, of all of the challenges that they are faced with, God. We just ask you, God, to give them that light, to, to give them that, show them, God, that you have not left them, that you will never leave them nor forsake them, that you are right there with them, carrying them, guiding and leading them through it all, God, because we know what your promise is, God. We know that we are covered and we appreciate you, God, because you're pushing us to our purpose. You're pushing us, God, even through our pain to where you want us, God. And so we thank you that we'll be able to help somebody else. So God, I just ask you to continue to watch over us, keep us from all hurt, harm and danger, every sickness, illness, and disease that the sickness is not unto death, God, that we can truly say that we will live and not die, no matter what the report looks like, no matter what the enemy is trying to say, God. And I ask you right now, special blessing upon our children, upon our young people, upon our young adults, that the enemy is trying to take them out mentally and physically, that it will not work, that we have parents, that we have loved ones, that we have those adults that will stand in the gap, even for our young people that don't know how to stand up for themselves. God, we trust you today. And we bind up the enemy and whatever he thinks he's trying to do, that the attack is blocked, that it will not work, that you have dismantled whatever it is that he thought he was going to do. And so we thank you, God, that the testimonies are coming forth. And we appreciate you, God, for covering our minds, covering us, God, from whatever the enemy is trying to do to tear us down. So, God, we lift you up. We honor, adore you right now, and we continue to give you the praise for you are worthy. In Jesus' name, we pray and say thank you, Lord. Thank God. Amen, amen, and amen. I love you all. I appreciate you all. I had to run right in the house with less than 20 minutes to jump on. It's been a busy day, but I thank God for another day that wasn't promised that I didn't have to see, and I thank God for for seeing each and every one of you all on the line. So whatever you're going through, be encouraged. Miss Chalk, whatever you're going through, be encouraged. Be encouraged today, Sister Wanda Reed. Be encouraged today, today Minister Singleton. Be encouraged today, my big sister Tornita, Elder Darlene. Be encouraged. Whatever you do, don't give up on God, uh, April. Don't give up on God because he would never give up on us because he is able. And I thank him for another day. So as we begin the week with him, we can end the week with him. So continue to pray, continue to praise. And the challenge today is you got to let somebody know today your testimony. You got to hit somebody up and say, I'm praying for you because I know what God has done for me. And I know he'll do it for you. So hang in there. We just got to encourage somebody. Somebody just needs to hear that today. Be encouraged. Don't you give up. Your breakthrough is, is right here. It's on. It, it's not on the way. It's right here. It's at the door. So we, God, j just lift your hands and say, God, I thank you. And in the midst of your praise, 
you can receive all that God has for you. So uh, be blessed. And I want to invite you all next Wednesday. I got to get more details, but Thanksgiving message coming. So please uh, keep me and the other ministers in your prayers that's pre that is preparing for that time. But Thanksgiving is every day. So let's continue to wake up with a praise, lay down with a praise and praise God throughout the day. So you all be blessed. Love you all. I thank you for your prayers. Thank you for tuning in. Love you all. Be encouraged. Talk to you all soon. Have a blessed evening. Good to see you, Sister Goodwill. Praying for you and your family as well.